favorite tool, the oval tool. And I'm just going to create a little uh, gratuitous ball here. In fact, I might fancy it up a little bit. Maybe we'll use you know, one of these little radio gradients. You know, and, and, well, I'm in a good mood this morning, so I'm going to actually use the fill transform tool. So I'm just going to move that gradient off a little bit, so now it's like a little 3D ball to it. That's one of the tricks I learned from a designer. Uh, so now, now it's like this 3D orb. Um, so I'm going to take that circle and I'm going to turn that into a movie clip. And so now, so one of the biggest problems that we faced in every release of Flash, I started back uh, on the Ellipsis release, the, the second uh, updater to Flash in 2004 is when I started on the team. And ever since then, when we struggled, the biggest problem that we have with new users is figuring out how to animate things in Flash. And we did the lab studies, we did all kinds of usability studies, and it was just so difficult for people to animate on the timeline. It's just not intuitive. It's not like any other tool out there. Once you figure it out, it's nice, but it takes a long time to figure that out. So in this release, we really wanted to solve that problem so new users can actually figure out how to animate the Flash. Uh, so what we did is we created a new animation uh, method uh, that we call uh, motion objects. And so this is the default animation uh, style. You can right click on the object or you can go up into the uh, insert menu. I'd say insert a motion tween. So when I said insert a motion tween, notice that my timeline added a bunch of frames on that. You can control how many they add by default. You can also uh, change that on the timeline. But it added in 25 frames. And so now I've got all these frames in here. I can scrub the play head through. Now obviously my, my, uh, my ball isn't animating yet. But what I can do is I can say, all right, go down to the last frame and then take the ball and I'm just going to move it over here. And now watch what happens when I let go. See that? Right. Anybody out there use Director? Anybody remember, remember Director? A few of you? I remember when I used to demo Director, people would say, why don't you put that in Flash? A little, this little, I don't know what you call it, spline or something. Okay, so now we've got this visual representation of the actual path of the animation. The little dots represent the frame movers. So now what I can do is, Move, so here, now we've got a working animation. This is really cool. I can say right towards the middle, what I want to do is change the path, right? So now right in the middle, I should go up and then down. But I really want that to curve. So how do I make it curve? So I can actually grab the pen tool, and this is a regular Bezier path. So I can use all the pen tool operations on it. So if I hold the option key down and click and drag, you can see I can actually control the path of my animation now. And so, yes, thank you. So now, when I scrub the playhead, follows that path. 